the channel. Uh, we're on Clear Lake today. You know, I've been watching a lot of the tournament results up here, and uh, it seems like they're smashing them pretty good. Every tournament's been taking at least 30 or 33 pounds to win. So I decided to come up and, you know, make a trip up here and try to see if I can catch some of these big fish. Um, not too sure how it's going to play out. Today's a beautiful day, and usually when it's a beautiful day like this, for me, they don't really chew. So we need a little bit of wind. You know, we need a little bit of clouds, um, you know, low pressure. We just had a full moon. So, you know, I don't know how, you know, today, I'm actually fishing today and tomorrow. So I think it'll be small windows. I think this afternoon I'll have a little window and then tomorrow morning I'll have a window. But we got a bunch of baits tied on, you know, from, you know, big glide baits, big swim baits, you know, trap, um, and a trash fish. I mean, I have a bunch of, you know, big baits tied on. So hopefully, we're able to catch one or two you know I'm not expecting too much I know it's you know you usually have to stop on a school and really you know find them you know to really do well so uh, I haven't been up here in probably about a year a little over a year so um, I do like this time of year I love the spring so hopefully you know I can I can run into some fish the water is pretty high right now I uh, you know I don't think I've ever seen it this high in this place or at least been a long time since I've seen it this high but Anyway, I'm going to start fishing down the bank. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to start with. I might just start with a swim bait or a trap. Um, maybe a glide bait. I'll probably just start with a glide bait first thing so I can cover some water. So stay tuned. Hopefully we can catch a couple. All right. We're going to start off with the, with the Gancraft. It's a, a nine inch bait, you know, 230. Uh, joining claw. You know, I love this bait. I've actually done really well on this bait here in the past. So I'm hoping, you know, we can get one or two, maybe even just, hopefully just get a bite on it, but we'll see what happens. You got a few boats around. I got some pelicans. So, you know, it's probably a pretty good sign. I'm in, probably in the right area. So. been fishing for I don't know about an hour or so I mean obviously no bites we haven't had any bites yet um, you know I think it's gonna be the you know the magic hour the last like 30 minutes of light I think that's when these fish are just gonna turn on and start chewing so I'm just kind of I wouldn't say wasting time right now but I'm just kind of slowing down throwing this big swim bait and hopefully Hopefully I can get one bite on it, you know, because I think if I get one, it'll be a, probably a pretty good one. But we're, like I said, slowing down. We're going to fish pretty slow through here and kind of wait for the last half hour of, of daylight to see if something happens, something turns on. You know, this place is, you know, fishing pretty small right now, I think. And once you find some fish, I really think you can sit in one spot and just, you know, catch a bunch of fish, just a pile of them. But until I find those fish, it's going to be a grind. So... And with these conditions, not a lick of wind on the water. We have a little bit of cloud cover, but not much. Um, some high clouds, kind of, I don't know. It's kind of, we need some wind, need some cloud cover. You know, these fish don't really want to chew, you know, when, when the conditions are like this. So, you know, fish keep fishing around this bay, see if I can pick up one.
Jesus. Oh, boom. Oh. Well, that wasn't a bass. It was a giant blackfish. And a blackfish pretty much looks like a hitch, but it's not a hitch. <laughs> it was like, I don't know, like a three and a half pounder. It was a big one. Foul hooked it, of course, and we yo yo on the trap. I felt like I came through some grass, and all of a sudden, this thunk, I felt a bite, or I thought it was a bite, and I leaned into it and accidentally foul hooked that fish. But, well, at least there's a sign of life. There is a good sign that, you know, there might be some bass in the area, too. So, I'm gonna keep throwing this trap around, see if I can finally get, you know, get one of these things to eat. <laughs> Hopefully he'll stay on. I'm gonna try boat flip him. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> it's a fat sucker there. <laughs> Can't really lip him. That sucker is fat. <laughs> Look at that fish. Just a chunk, man. Probably, probably a four, four and a quarter, four and a half maybe. Solid fish. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water. <laughs> it gets me so juiced. Oh man, I love an LV bite. I ripped it out of some like tulies and all of a sudden my next yo-yo is like already on there. So maybe there's a bunch more right here. Cause usually you find one, there's a handful. And there's a lot of stuff on the bottom. Go trash it over there and see what happens. Not a big one on that trash fish on a seven aught wicked weights wicked willow anyway not a bad fish and i've had three bites there so far both solid fish man <laughs> oh man i love it sweet let's see if we can get another one switch rods this rod's way too soft my 735 is just <laughs> not enough i need my 736 which lucky thing i brought it so yeah i switched over to a uh, a little bit stiffer rod this is a, a dobbin 736 i had a 735 on there which if you guys don't know seven 736 what that means is seven foot Three, pa three inch, so seven foot three inch, six power. And so it's a little bit stiffer. This is actually my uh, my frog rod, so 
definitely a little bit stiffer. Um, let's see if this helps me hook some fish because now I've had two bites and I missed them. So maybe this will get that hook buried in them a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna get uh, some more off this spot. I only caught two fish and I had two other bites, so four bites. I missed two, and I think that's kind of, you know, why I haven't caught any more, to be totally honest. I think it shut down the school. I, th I feel like if you miss fish or sore lip some fish and they come off, uh, I feel like if there's a school there, it kind of shuts them off. So I missed two, meaning, you know, I think I. You know, I think I shut down that school, but we're gonna keep fishing down this pocket, around this little pocket, and see if we can get, you know, one or two more before that sun goes over that, over that mountain there. So, man. That's a little one. Scary. Oh, he's gonna get me. Number three. Hey, it's not big, but man, I know that sun's probably blinding for you guys. Number three, but hey, at least it's a fish. Well, that is a wrap for today. Um, only caught a handful of fish today, so it wasn't great, but it's all right. We caught some fish. I, I would say it was still a success, to be totally honest. Um, I was going into today with the, the conditions we had, which were slick calm, uh, no wind, and barely any clouds. I thought, you know, today was going to be uh, brutal, to be totally honest. I didn't even think we were going to get bit, but regardless, we got a couple fish, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, ended up catching a couple fish on a trap, one fish on a trash fish, and then missed a couple on a trash fish. Um, I just don't think they were eating it quite good. You know, that, or I don't think they were quite eating it that well. Um, but regardless, we caught some fish. It was a, a success. But I'm um, getting ready to head over to a buddy's house. So I got about a 30 minute drive, so I got to get going. So I'll probably see you guys over there. Knock, knock. I didn't have very much weight at all. How many fish you catch now? Uh, three. What? What's up, brother? Oh, did you get a hug, dude? Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. How you doing, <laughs> buddy? Going? Forever. I'm gonna give you nuts because I'm eating some. That's fine. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Day number two. Um, pretty excited about today. You know, it's it's nice and chilly. We have uh, you know no wind, you know no clouds. But regardless, we're gonna have to go out here and have a good time. You know, we're gonna throw a rattle trap and some swim baits around and maybe catch one or two. But yeah, you know, yesterday was pretty tough. Yesterday I only caught three fish, so you know, I'm not expecting too much today. You know, I'm just gonna you know make a lot of casts and maybe you know run into a couple. Um, I gotta say a huge shout out to my buddy Bob Bob Tyler. You know, for letting me stay at his, at his place last night. Um, a bunch of guys were over there, you know, uh, Chris Perez, Tim Hall. Anyway, there's a handful of us over there hanging out, drinking some beers, 
you know, eating some good food and had some good laughs. So uh, thank you, Bob Tyler, for letting me stay at your place. I know I bounced out of there pretty early this morning. Everyone was still sleeping when I left. Um, I actually was sleeping in my truck a little bit last night because the guys were freaking snoring. They were cutting up a freaking a forest, man, let me tell you. <laughs> it, was just, it was so loud. Regardless, you know, we had some good times over there. Now we're on the water, hopefully uh, catch, hopefully catch a couple fish. So stay tuned and maybe we'll, we'll get on a big old school. start off with the uh, old LV 500 oh, man a little chilly this morning well I'm just being a wuss I actually my truck said it was 45 so that, that ain't too bad I don't know what what, what water temp looks I never turn on the graph but regardless it is April and these fish you know should be going towards the bank which I know they are because that's how people have been catching them so that's the way I like to catch them. So we're gonna throw those LV around. See what happens. Maybe we'll get one on it. I didn't realize that was a bite, to be totally honest. I thought I was hung up on some tuis. <sighs> well, that's the first bite of the day. I wasn't too sure how I was feeling about it, you know, back here. Kind of felt stagnant, but hey, it's a good sign. That is massive. <laughs> oh my gosh. That might be a 10 pounder. That's so big. Oh my gosh. That's so big. I kind of want to try to find someone to see how much that fish weighs. That thing is freaking massive. 
Good God, that fish. All right, I'm gonna put this fish, fish in the box. Try to find someone. So I'm trying not to move too much. I hit the troll motor, I mean. Like, I wanna back up off this and switch my camera angle so you guys can actually see me so that sun's not blinding you guys. I was like flipping all this stuff and I was like, all this dirty water. I'm like, man, there should be a big one back up in here. Second bite we've had flipping. Oh, that was a freaking good one. I probably shouldn't have boat flipped it, but we did. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Well, do you have a scale in your boat? I might have caught a 10 pounder. I mean, it's a, it's a big one. I don't know. I haven't seen a fish this big in a while, so it could only be like nine or eight. I don't know. It's, it has, it's a gut. Yeah, I'm just putting it in the live well for now. Okay, sounds good. Just let me know. All right, bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Dang it, guys. That was another freaking good one. It looked like another like six pounder I just lost right there. Yeah, I might have to switch up to something different. I might put on some braid. Nah, I think I'm just gonna switch up hooks. Instead of an EWG, I'm gonna put a flipping hook on. I'm gonna see how this flipping hook does. I'm just gonna tie a regular polymer knot on it. I'm not gonna tie a snail. I have 25 pound floral on so I'm not too worried about snapping off I have one other spool with braid on it but I'm not too sure what pound braid it is it might be 40 pound and I don't want 40 pound I want 65 ounce and a half weight flipping that flipping all those laid over tulies just green pumpkin red flake little uh, Berkeley make it makes it a uh, it's a bunker hog honestly one of my uh, favorite flipping baits you know, in between like missile baits, uh, reaction innovation, like this, this is a pretty good flipping bait. I really like it, to be totally honest. All right, we'll see if we can get another one.
another giant. Oh my god, dude. Now look, sorry guys. I forgot to turn you that way. Oh my gosh, look at that one. <laughs> That's even bigger. <laughs> Thing's a massive fish. Flip in there, it goes kunk. I jack it, and I thought it, and I didn't think it was that big when I first hit it. And then I got out in open water. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's bigger than I thought. Thing's a pig. I'm gonna put this one in the box. I'm gonna weigh both these fish when I get a chance. I don't have a scale on me. Let's go try to find uh, our buddies with the scale. See how much these things weigh so we can get these fish back in the water. They're big. They're real big. <laughs> Can't believe I got them flipping too. That's, cra that's crazy to me. Oh, man. Cool, cool. I haven't had that many bites though, so. No, I know. I've been flipping the whole thing. Really? Yeah. I got it in the couple I caught on the gym. Oh. Other than like the couple I caught on the, the wrist bait and the slide bait, I've been flipping. Really? Really? Is there even batteries in it? There's no batteries in it. No, yeah, seriously. <laughs> How many? Two? I have one. I have one. Oh, that's alright. We'll go find, uh, go find them. Just So you have like 25 pounds. 20, you should have 27 pounds. <laughs> Maybe. For three. For three, yeah. Like anywhere else, those are nines. Yeah. But here, that's probably a pack. I'm, I'm hoping so. They have, they have their guts. Big. But it's hard to tell. Like, I thought I was looking at a four pounder. Turns out it was a seven and a half. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we find them? Yeah, here, let me call them. I'll just go. Okay. Them yeah. Hey, where you at? Catfish. Uh, is that the creek next to the casino? Yeah, why was that? Uh, my scale. I only had one battery, so. And Austin and I are like floating out here right off the point at seven pound point. Seven pound point. What the 10 pound pole. 10 pound pole? Does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Uh, he wants to come to you or? Yeah, that's fine. Just meet me back here. Yeah, we'll meet you in Catfish. Alright. What's up? <laughs> we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. No, gotcha. Yeah. That. Really? I don't. I honestly don't know how big they are. I really don't. I mean, they're big, but I don't know if they're tens. <laughs> One was. The other one I was like, this one's a little bit bigger. I don't know if I can put flip that one. Nine seventeen. <laughs> right. Ten twenty. Huh? Ten twenty. Twenty. Yeah, ten twenty. Uh, that was 
stopped on my way home by a lot of <laughs> Well, I lost another one of like a seven. And then I had another, I had a little one. The same, this fishing the same shit. This looks all real, uh, like roughly the same. <laughs> Two big ones, dude. This is, you fish like four times. What do you mean? I went to Folsom last Sunday. I went to Camp Far West the day, day before that. It's been like a year. It's been like over a year since I've been here. Felt better than spotted bass. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I fucking hate spots. Especially catching them that way. Right? Like, it's not like you came on a jig or something, though. That would have been. When I first hit that 10, I was like, when I saw her, I'm like, oh, she's not that big. You know, and then she got out in open water. I'm like, oh my God, this one's even bigger. <laughs> and I feel like I fished it pretty quick, too. Like, I didn't. I feel like I could have went back through there, maybe got picked up one or two more, you know, fish. But. I hate you. Sorry. Probably another nine yeah, I think that's cool as shit, man. Oh, it's cool. Cool I mean, as hell. I'm jealous. If anybody was going to show up here and fish for a total of five hours, it was going to be. I, knew it. <laughs> I, I told them on the way in yesterday he's going to have 25 pounds and he's only going to be on the water for an hour. Check, <laughs> <Jet>, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, yesterday was a little. I mean, it's tough, though. I've only had. I've only caught those two. Well, I'm going to let you guys flip down this. I'm going to flip heading out. I just don't even want to fish anymore, dude. Like, hey, you? Good job, bud. Thank yeah. you. I'm going to give you shit, but... <laughs> well, I think that's a wrap for today. Um, you know, didn't catch very many fish today, but hey, the two that we caught were the right ones. You can't beat that. I mean, a 9, uh, 17 and a 10, 20, geez, <laughs> like two giants. Um, you know, I had another one that was probably pushing six or seven pounds that I lost and had a couple other bites, but hey, that's all right. I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, this trip, you know, those two fish made this entire trip. So um, I, have, I can't tell you the last time I caught a 10 pounder. And so. Um, that one fish made it made it worth it. So pretty stoked about it. I'm gonna get these fish back in the water, um, release them in the same general area, so they can uh, successfully spawn. Usually I don't like to keep them in the wide well too long. Um, I want to get some pictures, and you know I know, you know, you know it's not, they're not spawning. If they were spawning, those fish would have went right back into the same spot. I would not put them in the live well. But um, we're gonna get these fish back in the water right now, and you know they're gonna swim off nice and strong and. Man, I'm just super stoked. Well, pretty much, you know, almost almost lost for words. I don't really know what to say. You know, two, uh, you know, two fish over nine. Like, that's that's crazy to me. I, it's been a little while since that's ever happened. Um, you know, the other, other only other time that I remember catching two big ones like that in a day, I was I took this kid fishing and we had 35 pounds, you know, for our best five. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna grab these fish, and put them back in the water. You know, absolute freaks, like. Those are so big, you have no, no idea. Hopefully the camera does justice, but oh my gosh, crazy how big these fish are. Yeah, this does not do justice at all. <laughs> so sick, so sick. That's so cool. Well, I'm gonna hit the road. You know, I got about a two and a half hour ride back home and and uh, man, I'm gonna be thinking about those two fish all day, you know, over the next week or so. Um, looking forward to the next week. I got a, got a big tournament coming up. So hopefully I can run into some fish like that. Obviously we'll be on, here on Clear Lake, we'll be on the Delta, but that quality of fish live on the Delta too, so. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you guys liked the video and uh, we'll see you guys next time.